How can you tell the difference between this radio and this radio? Hi, I'm Tanner with Bridgecom Systems, and today I'm going to discuss the differences between the 578 tri-band and the dual-band version so you can make an informed decision when you purchase one. To start, there are two different versions of the 578 mobile, the amateur version and the commercial version. To the naked eye, they're exactly the same. The difference is on the inside. So which one is right for you? The tri-band amateur version is going to have, of course, the tri-band. So it's going to have 220 megahertz, 2 meters of 144 megahertz, and 70 centimeters of 440 megahertz. The 578 commercial is a dual band on the commercial parts of 2 meters and 144 megahertz, and 70 centimeters on 440 megahertz. This means you can only transmit on the amateur spectrum of those bands with the tri-band version. However, you can receive on the entire band. So you can only transmit on the amateur, but you can receive on the rest of the band. Your 578 is going to have lots of exciting benefits like APRS, GPS, and even Bluetooth. With Bluetooth, you can connect to any Bluetooth audio device like a headset, motorcycle helmet, your car stereo, or even a speaker. Now this commercial version is part 90 certified, so it's only UHF and VHF, which is what makes it the dual band. You don't get 220. The only downside is per FCC regulations, the front panel is actually locked out so you cannot input frequencies into this radio from the front panel, which is not a huge deal because it's not the easiest thing to do with the DMR radios. But this radio can actually transmit and receive on the entire UHF and VHF spectrum from 136 to 174 and then 400 to 480 megahertz. This radio is ideal for commercial users if you're involved with emergency management, emergency services, or even if you're in a fire department. This radio is great because you can transmit and receive on all the stuff outside the handbands as well. That's what makes this radio so great. So those are the main differences between these two radios. Some of you are probably wondering, why don't we carry other versions of the 578 mobile? It's simple, you're gonna lose the GPS, the APRS, and the DPRS functionality, and you're gonna lose the Bluetooth compatibility. That means you don't have the freedom to connect it to your car, or your Bluetooth audio device, or your headset. We want you to fully enjoy everything the 578 has to offer. So which radio is right for you? If you're an amateur and consider yourself a radio enthusiast, definitely go with the tri-band version. You get 220 band and you get to take advantage of the whole other spectrum. If your main concern is commercial, so you're on the emergency communications, then I would highly recommend you consider the dual band commercial versions. When you're getting started, I recommend that you watch our 578 quick start guide. This quick start guide will take you step by step from unboxing your radio to programming it. Click the link in the description if you're still having questions or curious about ordering a 578 mobile for yourself. To see more content like today, click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tanner with Bridgecom Systems, and as always, 7-3.